more and more users are starting to leverage weldments inside of SOLIDWORKS. Uh, one of the issues people have with is creating the 3D sketches that are required in weldments to lay out the structural members. What I'm going to show you today is a faster way to create those 3D sketches and at the same time also create a 3D sketch that you can dynamically change easily without having to go through all the, the typical 3D sketch challenges. All right, and what we're looking at now is we're going to start out with a typical 3D sketch that you would create for starting a weldment where we have multiple 3D sketches and each one of these define a part of this overall weldment, uh, but each one does require its own geometry, uh, any sort of uh, references, things like that. Uh, in here you would add your structural members. You'd have to come in here and select the groups for each one of them, similar to this. And then you continue on through the entire weldment. Now we've seen the initial typical weldment that people do. Uh, the next step is we're going to show you a little bit faster, better way of doing this. In this part here, what I've done is I've created a 3D solid which represents the inner volume you would say, of my weldment. Uh, at this point, I'm going to uh, select the edges of, the weld of this 3D body and create my 3D sketch from the solid rather than creating the 3D sketch entities separately. So first off, we need to create a 3D sketch. So then we can capture all the edges of this solid that we've created. The next step is to turn on the edge filter Go up to the Select All command from the Select pull-down. This naturally selects all the edges because of our filter. And now we can select Convert Entities. Converts all the edges to sketches. We can exit the sketch. And then come over here and hide our solid body. And we can see now that we have a 3D sketch representing our weldment profile, what we were going to do for our weldments. Then from here, from this point, it becomes a normal st steps of adding structural members. I'm just going to add a couple here. Typically you would go through, create different groups. And now I'm going to move forward. And where now we have all of our, all the weldments created and all the groups selected in our one feature here. At this point, I'm going to show how when I edit the sketch, then I can dynamically change this weldment without having to deal with the challenges of editing dimensions and relations in 3D sketches. So I have a, a base bottom sketch here that I created which helped me lay out my solid initially. What I can do is I can change these dimensions and we can see that my weldment automatically updates. It's very straightforward. You can create very simple dimensions for users to drive. It makes it much easier to create your weldment and be able to modify the weldment versus the typical 3D sketch creation method. Hopefully this new method of creating 3D sketches for weldments will help speed up your design process. If you'd like to learn more, please contact us at GoEngineer.